Welcome to Ring Central Coliseum in Oakland, home of the A's. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Houston Astros going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway. Our starting pitcher in this one, Mason Miller. What's the scouting report on him? Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets and the fact that he's not issuing free passes, that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count, allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. Jose Altuve in the box here lets that one go for a ball. That clips the corner. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Falling behind 2 and 1. The line of the pitch. And a 2 1 hammered, but foul. Kicks and fires. Full count. That one 95 to finish him off. The cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. Here's Kyle Tucker. First ball, pitch, no not close. Tucker, who's been an all-star and a gold glover. Left hand batter waits. That's the ball. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Fouls one off. Two and two. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark, a little late, opposite field knock. Gets it to first. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. Now we check out the Astros lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. The if you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit. And then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Right oh, yeah. through there for a strike. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really... You know, well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. And the A's will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Back after this on the show. Back here with my pal Singy. And on the mound today, Christian Javier. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. And 
down on strikes. One gone bottom half of the first. This is J.J. Blade. That's in for a strike. The line to kick the pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The 0 2. That's out to center field. Myers snags it on the run. That is cool. And time now to check out the A's lineup. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Next up for the A's, Brent Rooker. First no, pitch misses. Out. Two outs, bases empty. Pitch misses, oh. two and oh. He's clearly no. trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Next Ball, offering upstairs. High. There's yeah. a strike. Take it all the way on 3-0 right there. And as a hitter, you're saying, why couldn't I get that pitch earlier in the count when I'm looking to swing? Out to short. Tosses to first. Play made. That ends the inning. And the A's are gone in order. Scoreless after one. Back here in the East Bay. Top of the second. And now it's Alex Bregman. Miller back to work. That right. one finds the zone. That's strike one. They tried one to one. get him to chase on a slider down and away. Our umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good thing. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which... This one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's in there with a double as we finally have our first hit in this one. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Here's the shortstop at the play, Jeremy Pena. And fouled off. Man at second. The shortstop oh, takes the ball. That misses Two the one. zone. Two and one. And a pitch. Foul tip. Oh, that got our umpire. And it looks like it got him upstairs. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's ripped into the outfield. Puts it away for the out. Oh, 
And here's the first baseman. A little bit high. And that's ball one. With the go ahead run standing at second. Here at the top of the second. Now yeah, one and one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, one and one. that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap oh. on that pitch. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. The pitch. Oh, Count that four. one rides up and in. Straighten him up a little bit. High chopper to third. Zips it to first, and there's two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. That one finds the zone. Strike one. one. Bregman on its second with two down. Way upstairs, one. and it's a ball to strike. And the pitch. And That's there's the ball. ball. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Shea Langoliers. His splits between April and May there. The wind and the pitch. That missed no, that inside. Missed, that's the ball. ball one. One and oh. That no, one missing inside. inside. And the righty deals. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. The first baseman. Tyler Soderstrom up next for the A's. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. All tied up, bottom half of inning number two. Ball oh. one there. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Three. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So, got to stay ready for it. Wouldn't Ball. chase that time. Two and two. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Boils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. And that skips in the dirt. Count. 
One down, base is empty. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Payoff pitch. And there's ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. When you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Digging in for Oakland, Zach Gellar. In the air, out towards right center. Tucker on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Batting seven. The right field. So here's Brown at the plate. And that's in there at the knees. Two outs. Swings, fouls it off, and he breaks his back. And the 2 In the dirt. Tag safe at second. A good hustle to move up. That's a wild pitch. Next no, offering that's misses. That's two and two. It's a good take. That oh, one God. misses, and the count's full. J.D. Davis waiting for a turn at the plate. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. And ball four to a board. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. J.D. Davis up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Right through there for a strike. in there and the count wanted to really going after him here all fastballs to get ahead in the count not even close there and that's ball two out towards left center Pena sizes this one up drops into the glove and the inning is over a strand a couple We'll move to the third with no score. Back in Oakland, out of the third inning, here's the catcher, Gaynor Diaz. And a pitch. Line drive, base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. Pitch misses, and it's one to know. With the go-ahead run at first, we're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a miss. 
Knowing that the one pitcher ball, wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. And a 1-1. One, one. And that one fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And he deals. Ball. Diaz aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss. One gone here. So the Houston lineup turns over. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Let off the game with a strikeout. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. That one rip, but foul. One and two now. Altuve waits. Slider got him for strike three. Well, oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. What a one on the gun, swing and a miss. Well, baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good. Run. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. Climbs the ladder and makes the catch. Oh, man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. And we're back as we go to the last of the third. And now number 12. The wind of the pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. And another ball. Next pitch is downstairs. And there's the automatic. Three one is on the way. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And an automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next hitter to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. And now here is Abraham no, Toro. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. Here in the last half of the third. And yeah, that's nope. outside. Ball two. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. That Good. one finds the zone. Two and one now. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells me he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Man at second. Oh. Let us feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. J.J. Bladé in the on-deck circle for the A's. Swing and he breaks his back. Picks it up with the bare hand, and he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. 
Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. So up next, J.J. Bladé, 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. That Put one's in there. Strike one. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. The 0-1. This one high in the air to left center. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. He scores! That's a big sacrifice fly, and it's 1-0. Sometimes all you got to do is your job, and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. Brent Rooker getting ready to hit. Got to be careful with a slugger like this, because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Strike one. 0-1. Swings and misses. And it's 0-2. Two. two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. Outside. That's well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Two outs. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And yeah, that's Ball, a little that's bit high. high. It's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That misses the zone. Three and two down. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Toro off of first with two away. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Not what he wanted to do right there, Bill. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. And now the first baseman, Tyler Soderstrom. And a good That's eye there. The ball. One run game. The A's looking for some insurance. The next nope. offering misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two-ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Oh, he botches it. Zach 
Geloff. Up next for the A's. And the that slider missed. The just misses. That's in there. And a count one and one. Two outs, bases are full. On the ground to third. They take the force out. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Three innings complete. It's the A's one, and the Astros nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, your Don Alvarez. Miller back to work. Clips the corner. And it's 0-1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Alex Bregman. Doubled in his first A.B. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Strike two. Oh, and two. Just misses with that one. That's a really good take. Holding on to a one run lead, top half of inning number four. And that one upstairs. Out. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. He's over one. The other way makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing there for Houston. They still trail one nothing. Of the fourth, the stepping in, Seth Brown. Seth Brown. The pitch. And a foul ball. You know, these athletics showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've worked three walks already, right. so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. 0 oh and 2 now. And they'll do it again. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two strike pitch right there. At worst case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Davis, the next to hit, ball. takes ball one. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. One down, base is empty. 
That two, one two. not close. Now two and two. In the air left field. McCormick has it sized up. He's got it and there's two away. Now batting shortstop Max. Now it's the shortstop. One for one with a double and a run score. Right yeah. through there for a strike. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. A's go quickly and quietly there, but they lead it one to nothing. Back here in the East Bay. And here's the first baseman, number 28. The first baseman. Number the pitch. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Ball Oakland's ball, no bullpen strength. has some movement. Louis Perkins, the closer, is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. Righty delivers. Down and in, moved his feet. And that's in the dirt. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Well struck, deep right field, went back, and out of here! He powers that one out of here. His second homer of this series, and we're starting over. It's 1-1. One, one. Those are the at-bats that leave pitchers exhausted. He had to throw a lot of pitches and still gave up the long ball. That's a bad combo. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Mason Miller won't go any further, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Ready reliever out of the pen, Joey Estes. This is his third time out this year. Jake Myers digs in now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Nobody on, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swings and misses. One ball, one strike. That one hit to right. What a way. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Diaz can't hold up, and that's a strike. No ball, one strike.
That's a bullet, but it goes foul. One out, base is empty. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And there's a strike. Two outs. Just the off the outside edge, and it's one and one. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Ties it for the Strohs. All even now at 1-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Abraham Toro. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Oh. That misses. 1 0. Oh. Activity in the bullpen for the Astros for the first time. Hunter Brown up and throwing. Valdez, the lefty, warming up as well. Just oh. missed. And another ball. J.J. Bladé up next. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And that's ball four. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk. And that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. Substitution being made at first. Pinch running here. Este Yuri Ruiz. Now the number two hitter, J.J. Bladé. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. If you were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. And that's in for a strike. One and one. Winning run at first. Nobody out. Last half of inning number five. And a count one and two. That one hops against the fence. Headed for the play. Across is the winning run, and they will walk it off. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And your final score here today, 2-1. Oakland hangs on to win it for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.